In this video, I'm gonna talk about spring, form, tag, library. Okay. So what is useful and uh, what's the benefit compared to with HTML form? So let me give you a scenario. Typically, when uh, when we create a web application and if you want to do the login or add a new user, you have to using HTML form to submit your request, right? So for an HTML form, it's gonna be looks like this. Oh, sorry, and I'm gonna erase this one a little bit. Sorry for this one. Okay, and the brush. And then you have action, which we are to submit the form. Then you have a method. By default, in the HTML form, the method by default is the get. Okay, and then here you have input, type is a text. You probably have an input uh, type is the password, right? And uh, you might have other like a select drop down, and you might have an input uh, type is the radio button or uh, checkbox, all the things. Check box. And then you have a input type is uh, submit to submit your request right so this is a typical html form you can write in the gsp page so what it looks like when you're using spring form tag library first thing is in any gsp in your dot gsp page okay you have to add a directive it's the same thing as you using jstl Okay, because it's a tag library. Uh, let me show you the piece of uh, the tag lib directive. Yes, looks like, okay. Okay, let me put it here. Okay. And uh, for this piece of information, for this piece of information, you have to add in the top of your GSP page. And the prefix, the prefix here you are using form. Okay, it's like uh, you, you have you're using GSTL and here you're using GSTL, right? And the call. Then prefix here you're using C. Then you can using C for each, C for if, uh, those things. C choose those, okay? So what's gonna look like if you're using Spring Form Tag Library? This is a Spring Form Tag Library. So you will turn your HTML form looks like this way. Using the form, form, okay? And here you also will have action. And uh, the difference method by default is uh, post. Okay, normally we submit a form, it's uh, gonna be a post. And uh, here have uh, something different. You need to give a model attribute. So in your controller, when you forward to this GSP, okay, you inside your model, you must have a domain object set. Then Spring Form Tag will know how to bind your object, how to, sorry, how to bind your request parameter to which object, which object. Suppose you put a user here. He will bind all the information to this user object in request scope. And another difference from suppose you are using input type is text, right? And here is the difference. Previously, 
in your HTML form, you use name attribute to bind to the domain model's first field, right? First instant fields. And you're using name here. But inside Spring Form form, we are not using name. We are gonna using something called a path attribute. And here you wrote first. Okay. And if you want to do a select, okay, you have, uh, we're using form, select, okay, and then here, and the form, select. And here you're gonna have form option, okay? And you're gonna have a value and you're gonna have a label here, right? And how to bind using path. Equals, suppose we call country, okay? That's the difference. So let me summarize the difference, okay? The difference, let me summarize. First, by default, in HTML form, by default is a get, but in Spring's form tag library, it's by default is post. Second, you have to have a model attribute which means in your controller, that uh, method which return to this page, you have to have an attribute in your model. The key is the user. Second, in the HTML form, you are using name attribute to bind your value, okay, to do the binding. But inside of the Spring Form Tag Library, you are gonna using path to bind. That's the difference. And in the Spring Form uh, Tag Library, it uh, has something different when using select compared with HTML select. And uh, I'm gonna show you in another video, okay, how to actually work with uh, select. So now the question would be, your question would be, what's the benefit when I using Spring Form Tag Library? It seems because I have the HTML form, everything works for me so far. And what's the benefit? You gain this benefit. Let me change another color. First the benefit is you can using the same page same JSP page for edit and uh, save uh, without a, without change without adding extra code in JSP. I'm gonna show you. Okay, second one. Uh, so far, probably you won't have the experience. You cannot. You haven't learned for the validation. Uh, later on, we're gonna learn uh, validation. And uh, when you do the validation, you have to show the validation errors for all the fields and for each field. Suppose after each of the first name here, you have to show the validation errors. Okay, validation errors for each of the input text. And it's gonna be difficult to do in HTML forms, but it's very, very easy when you are trying you when you try to using Spring Form. Okay, very easy. I'm gonna show you in the future uh, lessons. And uh, this one is the second one for display. Valley validation error. Okay, last one. Uh, probably it has more, but uh, that's all I have in my mind so far. That's all. Say a, a, a third one, sorry. Cross request for uh, cross site request forgery attack. 
uh, in at the almost we let's when the, our lessons goes on, eventually we will run uh, Spring Security. And uh, in the Spring Security, we will talk about a cross site request forgery attack. And if you're using HTML form, you have to add extra work here in order to prevent okay, those attack or, or block those attack. But when you're using Spring form form, it will automatically handle for you. So you don't need to add extra work. And uh, uh, this video is the introduction of Springform Tag Library. Thanks for watching this video and uh, see you next time.